Good morning, good morning, kingdom. I love you, my brothers and sisters, so in love. Let's go to the throne of grace. I'm coming to repent to you, mighty and holy ancient of days. For I want to follow after you and your only begotten son. So cleanse me with the blood of Jesus Christ. As I take ownership of the day-to-day -day calamities that has taken place and asking for a spiritual change. And may the most high God lift off every curse that has been on your family bloodline that is causing you to not prosper. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen. Ancient of days, the eternal one of creation from beginning to the end. Right now we come in the eternal glory of who you are. For I truly am a man, Lord, I want it back. For what that is proceeding out the mouth of mankind towards men is starting to be disrespectful in all nature of humanity. For the societal norm of what is taking place here on this earth is causing much havoc and separation for all. Repair the breach as we come today, for the fiber of mankind is being hindered by what society standard says that a man is supposed to be. But in your eternal glory, for you knew the design of a man as it was in the beginning of time here. So, Lord God, I want it back. Honor, for I know that I am supposed to be honorable towards you and my brothers, no matter the color or creed of that man. I'm supposed to love them in honor. I'm supposed to help them in honor. And I'm supposed to pray for them in honor. So today we glory in your holy name, ancient of day, for we come to honor you and, my, and mankind, Lord God. I want it back. Respect for that is gone out the window with so much disrespect for of being a man. It's nothing for an individual to come out of their mouth with societal disrespect that the respect of our character is being put on display as we are the worst thing in the world as though we don't do right. We only do what we are taught, and if we truly don't know our true identity as a man, it dwindles down to so much disrespect and no respect is truly found. So today, I repent for you, to you, for I truly respect you, ancient of days, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. For I offer myself up a living sacrifice to be made whole and receive the respect as I'm supposed to receive, so clothe me in your righteousness. I'm a man, Lord, I want it back accountability for all the things that I thought was being a man on this side of the pasture. I was supposed to get a well-paying job or career. I was supposed to have the house set up. I was supposed to have the car. I was supposed to have all the money in the bank. I was supposed to, I was supposed to on so many things. But when it's all said and done, what happens when the financial system of the world collapse? What happens when the careers and jobs stop? What happens when we are unable to afford the food that is supposed to be placed on the table? What happens when all the things we put security in collapse? What do we do? I'm coming back to you, my first love, ancient days, for I need and depend on you. For you are the mighty God who spoke this earth in existence, for everything shall perish, but your word will never die. So today I say with an open confession that I'm a man, Lord, I want it back. In the beginning, you gave man the responsibility to do what you commanded him to do. And with that, the first man allowed sin to enter into the world, and every mankind has paid the price of sin, but not after the similitude of the first man, but being that you are the ancient of day, so seen and seen it all and knew it all, that you set up the second Adam, which is your only begotten son, Jesus Christ, to become sinful flesh, that he will take away the sin of the world and be an atonement for us all as men to repent and come back to, to a spiritual understanding of who you are. So we want to be spiritually responsible as the one who hung on the tree of Calvary cross, that the one man ate off the tree while the second one hung on the tree to be our propitiation for us all that call on the name of Jesus Christ, who died on that tree, rose on the third day, seen by many, was received in the Holy of Holies to be seated next to you, ancient of day. We accept the finished works of the cross, so give to us our spiritual responsibility for that work that was done on the cross. For I'm a man, Lord, I want it back. Deliver us from evil, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. For we need our daily bread. We forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation. And once again, deliver us from evil. For we know that thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. So we come in the finished and completed works of the cross. And we lay down our burdens to pick up our cross to follow after the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, Christ Jesus, to be made new in the resurrection power of our Lord and Savior, this we pray, this we pray and ask in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, your only begotten Son, as we say, Amen, Amen, and Amen. I love you, my brothers and sisters.